geometry. Geography. Geometry. <laughs> geometry. <laughs> All right. Today we're doing section 1-5, using formulas in geometry. Okay, these are the basic formulas we'll use. All right, we're dealing with rectangles, squares, and triangles. And then later we'll do circles, okay? So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to do perimeter, okay? What a perimeter is, it's around something, okay? That's pretty much the distance all the way around. All right, like if you hear in the movies, they're like, scout or the cops will be like, search the perimeter. That means search all the way around it, okay? You know, they're covering the perimeter. Area is everything inside, okay? So if I draw something, perimeter would be everything around it. Area is everything inside of it. All right? Good deal. Let's talk about the three basic area and perimeter formulas. First, we got a rectangle, okay? A rectangle has 90 degree angles in it, and the opposite sides are equal, okay? Now, for perimeter, easy way to do perimeter in a rectangle you add this side plus this side plus this side plus this side. Okay, but the official formula for perimeter is P equals two times the length. Sorry. Two times the length plus two times the width. That's it. It's pretty much just multiplying this one times two. So and my head actually didn't still get in the shot. It'll be okay. Okay. Okay? Now area is just length times width, which is one side times the other side. Now, say we have a rectangle. We got a length of 8, width of 4. Okay, to find the area, all we do is we plug in our length and our width. So it would be 8 times 4, which would equal out to be 32 centimeters. That's our area. Okay, that's the, that is the measurement of everything in here. Now, when we multiply those centimeters times each other, it is centimeters squared. So our final answer is 32 centimeters squared. Okay, now to find the perimeter, all you do is you plug in your length and your width. Or if you wanted, you could just add, because you know that's 8 and that's 4 as well. So you just 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 8 is 20, plus 4 is 24. Or you could do for perimeter 2 times the length, which is 8, plus 2 times the width, which is 4. Which that is 16 plus 8, so it'll be 24. And this one's just centimeter. It's just whatever our measurement is. Okay, so that's perimeter an area, okay, mm -hmm. of a rectangle. Now, for square, all right, for square, it essentially is a rectangle because the opposite sides are equal, it's just that all the sides are equal. So if you wanted, you could use the same formulas for a square that you do for a rectangle, but they have shorter ones, okay? For the area, you could just do a side squared, which is pretty much the same length times width, because length and width are the same, okay? And then for perimeter, it is four times a side which is just all those sides added together, okay? Not do that one because it's pretty much like that. Now, for a triangle, we have a triangle here. To find the perimeter, all you do is you add up the three sides, okay? You would add up A plus B plus C. That's perimeter. That's anything you have, you just add up the sides, that's perimeter, okay? Now, area is where this gets a little complicated, okay? So area, it is one half times the base, times height, okay? Or, a lot of people like the formula base times height divided by two. I'm one of them. I like that formula more. I think it's easier, but either way, whichever works for you, okay? Follow your heart. Now, base, it doesn't mean, that's not, it doesn't mean base, okay? In this situation, it is our base because that's where our height is, all right? All base is, it's one of the sides, okay? The only thing you gotta make sure is that the height hits the base at 90 degrees, okay? Let's say this right here is 6 and that is 10, okay? That length is 10, that's our base, we plug it in. Height would be 6, plug that in, 2, all we do is 10 times 6, 60 divided by 2, which is 30. That's our area, and let's say we were in inches, so the inches squared. And you're done, that's how you find the area. Okay, now, let's say you know Something else. Let's say we know the height is 6 and say that we know the area is 120. So we already know the area and the height and we're trying to find the base. All you got to do is plug in what you know to find what you don't know. Okay? We use our same formula. We'll just plug in the stuff that we know. Do we know the area? Yeah, it's 120. Do we know the base? No, that's what we're trying to find. Do we know the height? Yeah, 6. 
and then we know that's a 2. Okay, all we do is we solve for 6. So we do the opposite, which means we have to multiply 2. It will be 240. And then B times 6. And then we get rid of 6 by dividing by 6. Okay, and that would be... That side length would be 40. That would be our base. Okay? Good deal. Okay, now, we got circles, okay? Now, the first thing you got to know about circles, you got to know some of the basic terms, okay? A line that goes all the way across the circle and goes through the exact center is called the diameter. 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 Okay? Now, if it goes from the center to a side, just from there to there, that's called the radius. Okay? Radius is always half of the diameter, exactly. Okay? Now, we usually call the outside a perimeter, but in a circle it's different. It's called the circumference. Okay, that's all the way around. That's the measure. Okay? Now, you're going to see this little guy right here. It's called pi. Alright, it looks like two T's with the same pi. Alright? Now, that's called pi. We use that a lot in circles because every diameter, anytime you take a diameter and multiply it times that right there, it's going to equal the circumference every time of any nice, perfect circle, okay? Roughly, it's about 3.14, okay? That's about what pi is. All right, that's its measure, okay? And it goes on for a long time, and people love to talk about it. But that's pretty much all you'll need to know, okay? There's also a button on your calculator for it, so that's lovely. Alright, now you need to know some formulas for circles, okay? First one is for the circumference. This is kind of like the perimeter of the circle. All the way around, you just do pi times d, which is the diameter, okay? That's, if you find the length all the way across, multiply times pi, you've got the circumference. Okay, another formula you can use is 2 times pi times r. Square root Well, no, that's a different one. Uh, but 2 times pi times r, r is the radius, okay? We throw a 2 in there because radius is always half the diameter. If we double the radius, it's pretty much like saying this one, okay? So if you know that radius is half the diameter, it's the same thing, okay? You can always just double it and find it using the first formula. It's up to you, okay? Now, the formula for area, now we use our little square thing. It is area equals pi r squared. All you need to know to find the area of a circle is the radius. If you know the diameter, cut in half, you have the radius. Okay? So, let's do an example problem. Let's say we know that radius is 3 centimeters. Okay? So, from the center to the side is 3. That's the radius. It's going to be the same distance anywhere on here. Like we did that, that's 3. That's 3. That's 3. All those are 3, all the way around. Okay? So, doesn't matter. Now, let's say we want to find the circumference. We can't do pi d because we don't have a diameter. We can find it very easily just by doubling this and making it 6. Or we can plug it into this one. I like to put stuff in this, the pi times d, keep it simple. Double that, the diameter is 6, just 3 times 2, so we do pi times 6. Now, if they say leave it in terms of pi, we're done. Terms of pi just means leave pi like it is. Don't make it a number. Now, whenever we type this in our calculator, we would do it 6 times pi, which would be something like a little over 18, maybe 19, right around that area. And you would just round it, okay? I'm going to calculate or something, I'm going to do that. Now, to find the area, let's use our formula. All we need to know is radius. We know the radius. We plug it in. So it would be 3, b equals pi times 3 squared. 3 squared is 9, so it's pi times 9, which we'll just flip it around, put the number in the front. We leave it in terms of pi, we're done. Okay, the centimeters squared. This area is always something squared. Alright? Then we're done. Okay, now we can type our calculator, get the number answer, we're good to go. Okay? Now, let's say we got a little bit, a little bit more complicated one. Alright, let's say it is. Nah, never mind. Then, 